Hello and welcome to Paul's Racing Channel and to the Ultimate Racing League for round three of our GR4 Championship uh, from League Three. A little bit of delay in getting this one to you due to uh, holidays, but uh, well, we've got there and here it is. We're down in the UK uh, for this round, down in the south of England at the Brands Hatch Circuit. We're on the Grand Prix layout, clockwise 2.4 mile track, and uh, this is the first of our two 30 minute races here today so let's go through the grid uh, then great shot of the cars just coming round remember rolling start coming through clearways that you can see at the moment so on um, pole position motor storm hero has actually been improving as the rounds go on and uh, had a victory thrown in there as it had a podium too so he's certainly up there on the points at the moment into in fact i wouldn't be surprised if he's uh, leading it very closely followed by Dyson, who's in third place, but it's got second is Idle uh, Gaming. We've got Dyson, there he is in third. It's Hoggy in fourth. Uh, Chuck in fifth. So welcome back to Chuck, actually, one of our uh, old guys, if you like. this um, come back and uh, has joined us here. He's in fifth place. So good to see Chuck back. Thingy Jig in sixth. Harry Poppins in seventh. Dizzy Rip in eighth. Flash in ninth. Captain Slow in tenth. Rascal Roscoe in 11th, E. Bloomfield in 12th, Volker Rob in 13th, Nightbreed in 14th, and Naif in 15th. So, almost a full grid here. Really good turnout for this round three. So, let's get on with it then. Here we go. Watch them come through on this rolling start, as I say, to get this race underway. Racing sauce. Remember, there was a soft all the way in this first race and then a stop in race two where mediums have got to be run. Here we go then, off and running, up to Paddergill Pen for the first time. Storm Hero followed closely by Idle Gaming. Jay Dyson there in third, in the first of the Ferraris. Got It's Hoggy, teammate there in fourth, in the second. There's Chuck in fifth, in the Supra. Round Druids they go, the first time. Dyson, love the back of Idle Gaming now. We've seen though how good that Silvio is of Motorstorm Hero out in front. Let's see what it's like around here. It's quite a technical track. Great track, one of the best ones here on the game and in real life, in fact. So you head now down to the right hand up. Top five just uh, Getting away from the rest as Chuck now is eyeing up a move on its hoggy. Not going to make it through Dingle Dell or through this final sector. They might have a sniff on the start and finish, maybe. Oh, and it's the most. Dormy Rose made a mistake. Where'd it happen there? I think he just ran wide. Let's have a quick look. He was in the lead at this point. Yeah, there he was. Got himself in the grass very easily. Done through there, actually. And in fact, kept it in the lead at this point, but then did he run it wide again? Yeah, got a lot of curb. So Idle Gaming then took up the lead from him in that uh, SLS. So I was storm down to second, and we've also seen that SLS is pretty good as well. Dyson now hunting down Motorstorm, going up the inside through clearways. Start and finish, gets that second place off Motorstorm, does he? Someone's off here. I can see a load of grit and dirt, and someone's definitely off at the back here. Let's have a look. Is it knife? No, Nate's coming round. Was it Volker Rob? I have got that wrong. There's Volker Rob there. He's in 14th. No, I don't think it was him. Was it ahead of him? Someone definitely went off, or did they just touch the. I think it was the other Sylvia. Was it a flash? No. I think someone might have just kicked up the dust. Nightbreed's got his hazard lights on. Well, whatever it was, we're all still going. As we come up to Druids and Motor Stormy, I was just about holding off Dyson in second. Dyson trying to get round now. Can he go up the inside here? Not quite. Chuck's there. Up to fourth now. Harry Poppins in fifth. It was actually whoever was in fifth, wasn't it? It was gone. I think someone on the way back, but fifth now for Harry Poppins. Leading up this next group. And the other Ferrari. I think he'll be jigging sixth. Seems to be improving. Every round, doesn't anything we do? Just sort of getting used to things now. The drivers should be just about getting used to each other and their cars at this point. Dizzy Rip. 
flash that silver sil silver Sylvia. It's uh, almost hard to say that. Coming down through Dingledale. Captain Slow. Bloomfield. First of the Lambos. When that was uh, Captain Slow just kicking out a bit of grass there. It's Hoggy in 11th. Rascal in 12th. I breed in 13th. Log Karob. He's down to 14th now. Dope. Did he have a bit of an off day? I think he did a little bit of a moment. Did he do what Motor Storm Hero did? He did, but he was a lot more um, dramatic. And then decides to cut up the grass on the right as well. And why not have a drift round the uh, left hander too? It's not uh, going to be the quickest way round there, though, unfortunately. So losing a lot of time as we see Nath there in 15th place in the McLaren. But up front is Idle Gaming, who's uh, getting away from the rest of the drivers at the moment, fastest lap as well, 129.9, coming through Druids down the hill, over Storm Hero, still holding off Dyson in second, Dyson there in third, Chuck in fourth then, here we've got Harry Poppins still in fifth, along with Thingy Jig in sixth, Dizzy Rip in seventh. Chuck just sitting there in fourth place, just biding his time. There's a long way to go here. 30 minutes of racing. We've only come out to the fourth minute. We're on lap three of 21. Remember, these are lap races now, not timed. Obviously, there's a time element to it. We say 30 minutes, but it's there or thereabouts. But they are lap races, so three of 21 currently. So still a long, long way to go. So Chuck might be just out there holding his... Uh, just uh, holding it off there, not going too hard too early. But Storm Hero with half a second penalty for track limits there, could be for cutting the corner. So he might be giving away that uh, second place to Dyson. And his own for and he's, he's at the end of the lap, so he's got a little way to go before he has to get rid of that, but shouldn't lose too much time, but whatever we've seen, more than half a second, actually, when you're in the car, you say half a second, but it's more like a second by the time you get back up to speed. Motor Storm, it's like he's just going with idle gaming now in front two. Just pulled a few tenths from Dyson and Chuck. Henry Poppins looks like he's got away from the rest as well. So he's on his own a little bit. Thing we're jigging sixth. Dizzy Whip in seventh. I think it's the first time we've seen Dizzy Whip, isn't it? I think. So welcome to Dizzy Whip. Not sure we've been any in, in the previous rounds or races that I can remember anyway. He's obviously Captain Slow teammate. But I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen the one Citroen. So welcome to Dizzy Whip here. Bloomfield also with half a second so let's go back to Motorstorm actually and just see because he'll be coming up to that zone now is he going to lose a place to Dyson no he isn't Dyson's actually got his own penalty so I think really changes there so they all go through clearways along the start of finish Harry Poppins there in fifth I think the jig in sixth place the two Citroen the two teammates battling it out here now let's see is he ripping seventh Captain Slow and I surely going to have a look up the inside as he Captain Slow on the brakes and paddock here Ben plenty of room given by his teammate as you would expect and gets the job done up to seventh he goes Captain Slow so Dizzy Rip back to eighth then we've got It's Oggy oh and that's Rascal having a well move on up the inside of Bloomfield let's have a quick look at that yes he actually got a better run out of paddock Hill, didn't he to Druids and then kind of a late lunge and well there was a bit of a gap there but there was some contact so maybe he may get penalised for contact there Rascal that one for the stewards to have a look at and have a view of post race so Bloomfield dead 
Rakic uh, nudged out of the way and back to 11th place. Then we've got Nightbreed, who's still got them hazard lights going. He's obviously got an electrical issue there somewhere. But it's not affecting the car at this point. He's in 12th, though. Our man from the Isle of Man. Flash back to 13th, so not one of Flash's best races here. He's normally a little bit further up than this is Flash. Some drivers like this circuit, some just can't get on with it. Maybe this is one that Flash just can't get the grips with, maybe. But uh, either that or, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, enjoying yourself too much at the moment as we see Vodka Rob. 14th, still cutting that corner. So Wolves clear ways now for him. 14th place and then Nathan in 15th where's he coming up through Dingledale I think it's quite a long way back so he's struggling again is Nathan that McLaren the gaming in first still but closely followed by Motorstorm and Motorstorm has actually got that fastest lap off him now 129.1 so almost in the 28th is Motorstorm Chuck's also made a move on Dyson let's see if I can catch that move Chuck done on him. Was it there? Maybe. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, it was Padigil. So quite a long way back, but he was in third at this. No, he was in third anyway. So actually, quite a long way back, wasn't he? That Chuck got that move done. So he's up into the podium places then, is Chuck. Dyson may have another quick look at him up here at Druids. Didn't quite get it done, though. Also, that was when Motorstorm and Idol was really close. It's just Fast forward a little bit, go back to this battle at the front, and, and it's idle gaming being done by Motorstorm on the outside. What a move from Motorstorm that is! Gets that lead back from him. Got to look at that. Very unusual place to pass, certainly on the outside anyway, and just keeps it flat, keeps it on the island, and takes up that lead then. Motorstorm. So we're used to seeing him out front, aren't we, over these last few rounds? and He's certainly got to grips with that Sylvia. And he's flirting with the grass there. This is where he went off and ran off and lost the, the lead earlier on. Idle gaming then back to second, but now Chuck third and Dyson fourth still chasing him down. But these four are getting away from Harry Poppins in fifth as Dyson runs it a little bit wide. I think he touched the grass, I think it was just a wide line from him. Now, what about a move on Chuck here at Paddock Hill? Chuck covers a little bit, just moves over to the right slightly, does Chuck just to try and stop Dyson from going up the inside. How about here at Druids? Again, just comes across, does Chuck. Doesn't allow that move to be made, and Dyson just sits behind him now. So these two having a great little battle. In fact, two kind of separate little battles going in here on the top four because Idol's now back on the back of Motor Storm Hero and up along the back straight now. Again, the usual glitch from the game where some cars have got the liveries and some haven't. Idle Gaming appears to just have the standard livery on that the game provides. Yet in race two, he'll have these uh, the proper one off as rub. Right, runs wide as Chuck. Let's have a quick look. I think pressure from Dyson might have got to him, or did Dyson? He didn't touch him. I think he just had a little bit of a slide, didn't he, Chuck? Yeah, mid corner, and yeah, and then he trying to correct it. Didn't quite get it done, and lucky he didn't take Dyson out as he came back on. He got it under control, but does lose that spot. So back to fourth, Chuck goes. Just a little bit of time there, obviously, as well. Dyson up to third. Are we 10 minutes in? And then, but shouldn't have to worry about any stop here in race one. Should be all the way through on the soft tyres and the fuel. As we look at this battle up front as well, and Idle Gaming has got up the outside of Motor Storm, but he's not going to take Motor Storm on the outside of Paddock Hill Bend, although Motor Storm done it to him. Didn't he? And he does stay there. He does. He does stick it out. Idle gaming. He said, "Yeah, you know what? Dyson has a quick look up the inside of Motorstorm. So actually, lost a couple of spots there. Did Motorstorm in the space of 
one corner. Let's have a look. Dyson back there in third. You can see the battle going on ahead of him. And he stays on the outside as idle gaming and he just got a better run through here, didn't he? Dyson up the inside. Clean as you like. Past motor storm, plenty of room given. Through Druids. And up to second place. So now Dyson eyeing up the lead. So Dyson perhaps just been sitting out. Waiting for the opportunity. Storm still not giving it up. Chuck just now falling off the back of B's three just a little bit. It was due to his little mistake down at this point here. It just cost him a bit of time and he's now going to try and get back on the back of these three. But what are we, 11 and a half minutes in? So still obviously plenty of time. Eight laps in as well so Chuck's got plenty of time obviously to get back on these but he needs them to make a mistake or to have a little bit of a oh and Chuck's made a mistake and he's going to drop down he could lose fifth place as well here when he gets going because Captain Slow is behind him in the Citroen he's in fifth at this point and again oh and he's struggling to... he's got some damage and he's got some rear damage which is going to affect his handling. Tries to keep out of the way of Captain Slow, which he does. Back to sixth we go. So let's have a quick look at Chuck's mistake there. Just see the back end of it there. So in fourth at this place, at this point. Trying to catch on to the back of these guys. Does he hit the curb? Yeah, it gets him out of shape. And then it's bang into the barrier. Where we got that rear damage. Oh, and there's a big hit. So a bit of whiplash there for Chuck. That rear quarter damage is going to affect him coming through this next little sequence. And as you can see, just trying to keep the car straight is a challenge in itself. He it does the right thing here. Again, a little bit of a moment, but keeps out of the way. He knew the, the, the pack was behind him. Captain Slow coming through. Harry Poppins obviously gets got through earlier as well. So he's up to fourth now is Harry Poppins and still struggling to keep it straight is Chuck. He could lose another place to thingamajig. It was on the outside here at Paddock Hill, although Chuck should keep that or just depends on whether he can keep the car going. Yeah, he does. So Chuck now right into the heat of the battle and he was up there, wasn't he? With those leaders keeping out of trouble and he was having quite a, an easy race at that point, wasn't he? But now he's right into the middle of uh, this hungry pack of cars and he's going to be sweating up now at this point he's got thing me jig all over the back of him last school's not that far off it's hoggy there in ninth dizzy whip in tenth so it's all going on at this point there's bloomfield in 11th it's, uh, the next one up in the line with flashing 12th or robin 13th i'll breathe back to 14th again Maybe that electrical issue with those lights is slowing him down a bit. It's uh, dropping down the order to 14th knife a long way back and off as well by the looks of it. Through clearways and he's going to be lapped soon by these cars and we're only not even halfway through this race yet and he's got the leaders coming up behind him. So he's struggling idle game, you know he's our leader. It's knife there. But this battle's still going on between Dyson and Motor Storm Hero, and neither of them are given an inch, are they? It's all clean, though. So, still a good battle. This is your top three. Then Harry Poppins, who got promoted to fourth due to Chuck. It's off. Can he do. Can he get himself, I should say, onto that podium? He's getting the blue flags, but he's got the leaders right up here and he's getting in the way a little bit of our leader idle gaming and it's going to allow Dyson the motor storm to. That's better. Just gets out of the way, he does knife. So our leader's through now. What about the other two behind? Because he doesn't want to be holding anybody up here. It's very difficult through here. He's just got to stay too. 
the left hand side now really but he's there he's don't know where to go left right center but he just needs to slow down and let these boys go past which he does yeah i think they do but it has allowed over storm to get a run on dyson up through clearways and the longest start finish now towards paddock hill bend let's put a storm hero get him on the brakes dyson that is he does can he get his stop though he does dyson might fight back and have a go up here at druids he had to think about it. Close then. Harry Poppins on his own a bit now. The captain slow. We see he got past Chuck, didn't he? Up in the fifth place. There's Chuck in sixth still with Rascal behind him in seventh. It's Oggy in eighth. Then a bit of a gap back to Dizzy Rip with Thingamajig who's all gone back to tenth. And he was in sixth, wasn't he? Now what happened to Thingamajig? Did we catch that? Or was it a... Oh, it looked like it was just a penalty from him. So that's where he lost a, a lot of time there, actually. A lot of, uh, about four, three or four places he lost there, didn't he? So I'm not too sure what that penalty was, but it was uh, more than half a second, clearly. That's a 10 for years, though. Dizzy Rip gets it a little bit wrong. Captain Slow, though, his teammate in fifth. Just getting away from Chuck a little bit. Rascal with half a second penalty, too. So a few penalties being there. Uh, and it out now, midway through the race. Imagine it's Hoggy will get that seventh place off of Rascal. Let's just stay with it and see because it's uh, just around his next. Chuck again runs it wide and he could lose a place to Rascal, although Rascal will be giving it back to him in the next couple of corners. But yeah, just run it wide, didn't he? Chuck almost the same place as well that we went off before and but kept it this time where we needed it to be but now Rascal needs to get over for that penalty and there goes Chuck past him up to sixth and it's Hoggy as well gets through so Rascal back to eighth then so Chuck working his way through Captain Slow's just got away now in fifth place good to see Captain Slow up there now he looks like he's getting gripped through that Citroen doesn't it through Druids Goes that bright yellow car. A few stabs of the brake there from Captain Slow. Look at this from our leaders though, and it's over Storm again. He's having a go at Idle Gaming, and these, these have been fighting like this pretty much all race, haven't they? Dyson just falling off the back of him, but these three really have all been together since the start but Idle Gaming really pushing that SLX or SLS I should say in first place with Motor Storm all over the back of him in that Sylvia that SLS does look pretty quick Motor Storm starting up a move maybe next time To the last eight laps now, eight nine laps. Oh, Storm up the outside through to Druids. Been on the outside, he likes this outside move, doesn't he? But if he can stay on the outside, he's going to be on the inside now. This next left hander, it's going to be a great move if he can do it, if he can pull it off. No, oh, Idle Gaming is really hanging it in now. He's saying, There's no way you're getting past me, boyo, and uh, you're going to have to really fight to get past me. He is all over the back of the motor stall. He's going to be having another go where he passed before on the outside. Idle, Idle Gaming is obviously covering every inside line that there is, but Motor Storm said, well, you know, if you're going to cover the inside, I'll just try the outside. But you've got to be very careful. And Dyson now, of course, is caught right up. Look at this for a battle up the top. These foot two have been fighting, and Dyson said, yeah, thanks, I'll be part of this as well then. He's right on the back of them now, so maybe he can get himself a victory. He's free of pulled away. Big gap now back to Harry Poppins in fourth place, but this battle goes on and it's uh, through clearways. They go, but it's still idle gaming leading it. 
it's motor storm hero in second now how about a move here at paddock hill band now we're going to go on the inside with motor storm hero let's go on board with him and i think can't see there he is he got the job done there he is in the rear view mirror so good move there from motor storm gets it done now at about is he going to have another go but he had a thought about it, didn't he idle gaming see it from his point of view is idle gaming having a to defend as well from Dyson behind him nice and tight here now power on and he freed itself out to the right hand side up the hill steeping what you think this and it's back down the other side a little bit weaving from most on the sure about to get a bit of dirt on his tyres just trying to get that off great battle though a lot of respect between these drivers up here and in lead three and Dyson just falling off again a little bit from these two, but look at Idle Gaming all over him. The inside through Dingle Dale, and this is going to be a tough move if he gets it done. Great drive, good move. Excellent move from Idle Gaming. That's tough through there. You can pick up a penalty too if you cut too much of that corner. Now, as they come up towards the final corner here on Brands Hatch, right up this Jaxi, his Motor Storm Hero coming through clear ways, and he's going to have a, a go if I can get the right camera. Is he? still there but he's not gonna get it done how about now through paddock hill is the orange flash gonna appear oh and you just see his front of his bonnet this is a great battle let's go back on out of the car and have a look at this going on so these three what a race this has been again motor storm keeps getting his nose in there just showing the nose to idle gaming idle gaming obviously knows he's there got a mirror full of orange at the moment hasn't he idle gaming but wow what a race this has been Dyson keeping out of it and he's ready to pounce if uh, something happens ahead of him let's just have a look through the field though as we see Harry Poppins there in fourth he's on his own has been for a few laps now to enter the what the final six laps of this first race here at Brands Hatch Chuck in fifth Holding off Captain Slow in sixth, Rascal in seventh. It's all settled a little bit back here, isn't it? Dizzy Rip in eighth. It's Oggy in ninth, Thingamajig, we know, dropped out the tenth and he's still there. Bloomfield in eleventh and that Lambo flash in twelfth. Hasn't improved any further. Vodka Rob in thirteenth. Nightbreed fourteenth. Nice in fifteenth. So no change back there. It's all going on out here as we just come to him and motor storm makes a move. We're gonna run it wide. Let's have a look at that move. So got a good run out of the left hander. And it goes up the inside here through clear ways. Yeah, good, but it just has to run it wide. A bit hot in there, and that allowed Idle Gaming to do the switch back. Gets that lead again, and now Idle's on the inside. He's most on going to go on the outside at Paddock Hill. A bit squeezed there by Idle Gaming, but good race in between these two, the three, I should say, even if you include Dyson. He's just sitting there, isn't he? But oh, motor storm again. Always has a quick little look up there at Druids. What a great this! What a race this is. Still holding that fastest lap though. His motor storm at one twenty nine point one. Now that's uh, it's a bit wide for Mardle Gaming. Is that going to be a penalty? Does the game give you a penalty for that? Doesn't look like it. He's got away with it. I mean, that curb is there to be used. It's quite a, a big curb, so. Clearly, you can use it all as it. Motor Storm has another look up the outside. Is he going to do that move that he likes around the outside here? And he will, and it's almost a carbon copy, although, got to keep it there. Idle Gaming said, No way, Jose. And, oh, and he's still there. What a race this is. I hope you're enjoying this entertainment from these three drivers up here at the top end of the race, of the uh, field. I think, you know, Dyson's got something up his sleeve. I think he's got it all planned on what's going to happen. Obviously, he'd be hoping that these two take each other out ahead of him, but it's just sitting there. The time he's with him, he's got no opportunity to get past him, hasn't he? His motor storm again has another look, and he gets it done this time through. Clear ways and up over the line to start at 17 into the last four laps now. 
five laps actually if you include this lap. So it's idle gaming. Has he run out of ideas now? Can he get back on? It's a motor storm and passed him for that lead again. So looks like he looks comfortable there. Can't really tell if he's doesn't look like he's pushing particularly hard. Just knows he's gotta sit there and just hope something comes his way, but Motor Storm appears to be pulling the pin a little bit now. Just a bit of a gap now, isn't he? And now Dyson is eyeing up that second place. Perhaps Dyson's can see that Motor Storm's just getting away a bit ahead of him and thinks he's time to make a move because he's got to go with him as we come in into these final few laps now of this race. And oh, there's the little mistake from Idol. Is he going to cost him that second place? Not yet, it isn't. Kicking up a bit of dirt from Motor Storm. Well, we know he likes it, that corner. Likes to cut the grass there, doesn't he? Now it looks like Dyson's picked up the pace a bit. Looks like he's pushing a little bit harder than what we've seen. So now he looks like he's ready to go. As I say, I think he can see that Motor Storm's getting away there in the lead, and he's got quite a nice little lead too, his Motor Storm. Yeah, looking good. Dyson can see it. He's on the outside, and now Idol's got to do it all again, do defensive work, but against Dyson now. Dyson is going to have a good run out here, surely. Idol's up the defensive mode. Up the inside there as Dyson still can't get past him. Come on. A lot of grass and curb taken by Dyson. I think Motor Storm might well have this now. I think he's hold on all that pressure. Got through to the front and now he's uh, he's gone for it. He can feel that it's time now to make that move. Now the fastest that by him actually into the 28s at 128.8 so he's certainly pulled that plug hasn't he? Uh, pulled that pin hasn't he? Motor Storm. What have we got? What have we got in for these last four laps? Three and a half laps. We've got left certainly isn't over. Easy to make a mistake around here. Easy to pick up penalties too as you as you've seen and just need one of them to happen. One of these guys or our leader motor storm and these other two will be on him again. So let's just go through this field again just to uh, show you where they are. There's Harry Poppins we know still in fourth. His own Chuck in fifth. So actually Chuck has made up fifth place isn't he or was he in fifth? No he was in sixth wasn't he so he's made up another place not sure who's dropped down then. Busy Rip in sixth. Vic Soggy in seventh. Rascal in eighth. Martin Rascal actually mightn't it. That's thingy we jig wasn't it? He was back on oh, no, he dropped down to tenth. He's up to ninth now so he's in ninth place. Bloomfield in tenth. Captain Slow that's who it was. It was Captain Slow who was where Chuck to 11th, so he's had a big moment somewhere as Captain Slam. I'm not going to catch it now. Flash in 12th, Night Breed in 13th. Made a spot on Volca Rob, who's in 14th. Nath, we know, in 15th still. As our leader doing, he's doing just fine. Up with Nath again, actually. Getting, getting lapped twice, surely, is Nathan. I think he is, you know. Oh, this, yeah, there's a little bit of, a bit of glitching, a bit of lag going on in his car too, so maybe he's having issues there with connection. But he's got to get out of the way. Blue flags are flying. Just stays out of the way here. Now leader goes past him, so he has been done twice now, has knife. Idle gaming, I think this is it. I think this is where we are with it. So they start the penultimate lap. Like Motor Storm. He's got this one in the bag. Oh. Well, there you go. First of our little mistakes from our leader. Idle obviously can see that, or is he just showboating? But he would have seen it, Idle, for sure. It's going to give him a little bit of hope. Motor Storm's tyres just beginning to take effect.
that's at the uh, million miles away from him is the idle gaming there he is there's a gap with Dyson here in third still think Motorstorm's got this well, it looks like he's maybe just needs to doesn't need to push too hard making a mistake like here like where you done it before so we can afford to probably lift a little bit coming into this final lap now up and over the line comes motor storm hero here's the final lap I think he's got it idle gaming it looks like it's going to pick up that second place with Dyson there in third so that does look like your podium race one Bobbins fourth Chuck in fifth it's Nathan still being given the blue flag keeps well out of the way Stay with our leader now, I think. To the end of the race. Squeal of tyres ahead of him. Another impeccable race from Motorstorm. Had a great battle between him and Idle Gaming for a, a long time. I, and Dyson was there too start of the race right up to pretty much the entire race they was fighting but he got through in the end did Motorstorm Hero and he's going to take victory here at Browns Hatch race one of our League 3 GR4 championship so congratulations to him really good victory for Motorstorm Hero Idol with a good second place as well deserved that Dyson got that third in the end so there's your podium Harry Poppins going to get fourth so he'll probably enjoy a fourth place as well. Chuck in fifth. A bit unfortunate, wasn't he, earlier in the race? Chuck just uh, lost it. Would have been up there fighting, I think, for the podium had he not made that mistake. Dizzy Rip gets sixth. And under him, it's Oggy coming in seventh. Bloomfield, the Lamborghini getting eighth place. Battle here between, oh no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Thingy Jig got ninth, Rascal in tenth, Captain Slow got eleventh, Flash is going to come in in twelfth, I breed in thirteenth. Volker Rob is going to get fourteenth, and we know knife didn't get that final lap in, will come in in fifteenth place. So we watch Night Breed just coming to the end of this uh, race. Hopefully, they can sort out his electrics. For race two, those hazard lights, but cut the wire up, just take them out completely, or uh, or do something with them. But I think he's had an effect on his pace, if I'm honest. So 13 for him. Michael Rob, as I say, will come in in 14th. So there's your race one. Hewitt Brands Hatch, join me for race two soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you again for that one.